Hey Sawyer, oh my gosh, what a fantastic E4 um, Venture Project 2 you submitted. So much fun and such an honor and a delight to be a part of you growing you, Sawyer. Um, so great. So I wanted to run through some of the things that I loved and some of the things I had as curiosities about your project. Um, so for your pitch, I loved your great hook and the humor that you brought. I think that was incredibly fantastic and great to see. Um, I loved your passion first and the differentiators that you put in there and your thoughts on them in terms of both quantity and quality. Um, I think there was a really great aesthetic on the slides. Um, I would love to hear more, and I'll mention this a few times throughout, but I'd love to hear more about your market sizing and target customer and how you might get a little bit more specific in that. Um, you mentioned milestones and portraits, um, and I would term those as two different target, two different activities um, that you are pursuing in your business rather than target customers, because under your target customers might do those each of those activities. Um, but just getting a little bit specific about your target customers and clear about your language differentiation between target customers and activities. Um, in the pitch also, you mentioned um, small business challenges or challenges that people have working with small businesses. And when I looked through your interviews and evidence, it seemed that some of those were based off of working with small photographers and some not. So I would get specific in your pitch or in your differentiation about what your offering is going to specifically bring and um, why that matters within the photo industry. Um, really hilarious clothes as well. Um, I think that humor is really important and that is a differentiator um, that you bring and uh, just maybe a thought to consider. I've worked with a lot of photographers who are not um, as humorous or lighthearted. And I know that photography can be a really anxious thing for a lot of people. A lot of us think we're not good to photograph or whatnot. And so um, humor or a laugh reel or a spoofs reel, I loved seeing that in your pitch. And I think that's a really powerful thing that you bring both on the B team and within your ventures. Um, your website looks really amazing. I love that you've done different versions of it, gotten feedback, uh, a lot of different prototypes. Um, the call to action of let's get the party started is really great. Um, I love the language on the true to self and how you've been aligning with that. Um, one of the curiosities I had is overall in your pricing. And I think for um, your E5 quarter, and maybe if you're interested, over the summer thinking about how you might design test purchases um, and maybe different pricing levels or getting clear on why you're offering what pricing you're offering and how people are coming through the gate as your customers would also be a helpful um, thing to look at. So what are some of your hopes and ideas for scale is one of the things that really occurred to me in thinking about um, pricing and target customers. Um, uh, Love the addition of the frequently asked questions um, and throughout the pitch and looking at the website and your business report, the key questions that keep on surfacing for me are what does scaling look like for you? Um, whether that's important to consider or whether you'd like to stay at the level that you're currently at. So what does scaling look like for you? Um, and how are you going to reach your customer and how are you going to determine such things as, you know, pricing and the, a little bit more details on the customer experience. I loved the Calendly booking ideas. I think you could use something similar to simulate different types of packages or pricing. Um, I loved your learning journey video, especially thought you used the whiteboard very creatively and funnily. Um, Loved the way you shared your journey this quarter. Um, I really appreciate it. And your creative destruction analogy spoke to me. Um, how you're building and developing your brand. Um, I loved your uh, centering in on validation 
um, as capable, driven, and following passion. And I just want to applaud that. Yes, Sawyer, you are. It's amazing. In your business report, I really appreciated your layout and insights. Um, again, speaking to the differentiation of quality and quantity. Um, your desire to evolve in your presentation to clients. And I was curious, um, you know, I've noticed other strengths in you, um, be they fun, um, creative space design, building connection with clients and humor, um, approachable, maybe strong collaboration and key partnerships. Um, so just thinking about some of the other strengths that you have when you're looking at that spot. Within your customer journey map, um, again, this goes back to that same thread of getting curious about how you want to scale, how your customers are currently getting to you, because in the customer journey map, you have, um, I'll scan, oops, I'll scan down to that one. Nope. E -e -e. Um, in the customer journey map, you have, um, looking for a photographer, Google search, social media. So um, you may find that for some of your existing customers, this is not the way that they're coming across you. Um, so one thing for us to think about maybe over the summer, if you have any breathing space with Kohl's or in the fall, is coming up with a couple of different customer journey maps based on people that are coming to you because they know you or um, because they're thinking of a milestone or different ways that people wander through your sales funnel. Um, so just wondering if, you know, a Google search or social media is the primary way that people are finding you, um, just based on the narrative that I saw throughout the rest of your project, as well as our conversations. Um, good job within the big idea canvas of naming the parents as a target beneficiary and customer. I think that's a really important thing. I mean, even as a full-fledged adult, it was important for my parents for them to pay for my wedding photographs. And so it was then important to us, at, <laughs> you know, in my thirties to have an aesthetic that aligned with the types of things they would want to have on their walls. So, um, just thinking about those different stakeholders and target beneficiaries, especially as your potentially as your price tag increases, you know, if it's, thousand to three five thousand dollars for a photo shoot it it might change the framing up of it um so i really appreciated the volume of interviews that you had and the work that you did in the pre and post prototype on your website and the logo redesign you did i think that was so fantastic um top of mind for me going into your fifth quarter is really getting clear on um, currently how your sales funnel works, how you'd like your sales funnel to work. Um, you know, what type of pricing decisions are you making? Um, and getting to know some more about your target customers and what's next up for you. Um, there are a lot of ways that we can simulate tests of what people would be willing to pay um, or different ways to reach out to very specific target demographics with like sub pages targeted at them. So some examples of that are things like, um, you know, bachelorette parties, boudoir parties, cooking parties, but like different sort of specific niche, um, targeted events and what that might look like, um, might be something to think about. I loved the simplicity of your bundles and I'm curious in terms of differentiation, if going forward, um, some more target segmentation might make sense. So um, that ties back into that um, thread that I sort of had running throughout of um, clarifying the difference between activities and target customers and how you're going to both compel purchases, um, whether they be as tests or full purchases in quarters to come. So Sawyer, you are such a light. Um, all of that feedback is given in the context of it's already so incredibly strong. Um, great job on your website. Great job on the logo redesign. Great job on bringing joy and humor um, and affection to the work that you do. Um, you just have such a bright 
bright future. And I'm so honored to be a part of your journey. So have a great summer and I hope to see you between now and then. And I look forward to seeing you in the fall, in person, in class. Okay, I hope uh, hope you have a sunny, wonderful day. Amazing job, Sawyer.